Okay, continuing. Remember that while I'm using the pencil tool, I have it set so that there's a black outline or a black stroke and no fill. But at any time I can swap that so that it's a solid black with no outline. And that's how my, my logo is going to be. I wanted to show you how we can add a new tool to go along with our pencil tool, which is really helpful. And it's called the smooth tool. And it isn't in the default setup, the essential tools setup of Illustrator 2021. So what you do is you go to the edit the toolbar at the bottom. And it's going to be under draw options. see all of these tools that are options and you'll find the smooth tool there it is right underneath the pencil tool and then you can just drag and drop it into this drawer so if i reset my tools you can see the smooth tool needs to be added in Now, the pencil tool, of course, does what we've been showing. As long as you close your path, then you can modify it by drawing on the path and ending on the path. Like magic scissors. But sometimes, even with the smooth function turned on for the pencil tool, it can't get as smooth as we want. So then you can take the smooth tool and you can just kind of brush over it without worrying about making new paths and it will average out your anchor points. So when you're going for something really organic and smooth like I am, this can be really helpful. It will only affect paths that are selected and sometimes it can overdo it. You can always hit command to get back to the direct selection tool. So now let me try the smooth tool again. There we go. So the problem is I just created a path that's a black fill path on top of a path that's also going to be a black fill path. And if I use my small selection tool and I hover over it, you can see that the path's there. So I'm going to change its color just so you can see to red. And then how do I cut this path out of this path? I go to the Pathfinder tool. I make sure both are selected. I can hold down Command and select both. And then I'm going to use the minus. Oh, I got to make sure both are selected. So hold down Command and Shift. Minus the, the one on top from the one on the bottom. So it's like a cookie cutter. Now that's cut out. Now I can also swap this one. So now we have a complicated issue. No matter how well I use the pencil tool, I'm probably not going to be able to get a perfect circle here. So instead, to match my sketch, let me take my go to the transparency window, take this down a little bit so I can see my sketch underneath. Or to improve upon my sketch and really have a perfect circle here to imitate the moon, because it's a night hawk. Okay, I'm going to use my shape tool on a different layer. So I'll lock my pencil layer. I'm going to use the shapes. I'm going to use the ellipse. I'm going to hold down shift and get a perfect circle right where I want it. 
Use the large selection tool to move it into place. Maybe grow it slightly, holding down shift. So it's that big, nice and strong. Now, let me make that a really obvious color. Now I'm gonna unlock the pencil tool under, or the pencil tool layer underneath. Take this back up to 100%, and you see where they overlap. I'm gonna make sure they're both selected. And if I use the minus Pathfinder, remember Pathfinder's here, under Window, I've tucked it in to my tools with transparency, and I'm gonna tuck color into there. But as long as you can find your Pathfinder, you're good. And if I use minus, it's gonna subtract everything. If I just select the paths that are affected, like these two, and I do a merge, it will merge everything, and I don't want that. If I say exclude, it will do this weird thing where it swaps the positive and negative space, so I don't want that. So if I divide, then it's a little bit more interesting. Then it actually makes each of these an individual shape, and then I can decide which ones I want to cut out like so. But it's still not perfect because if I do that, then I'll lose the shape of the, the hawk's head, right? So instead, I'm just gonna have that selected and I'm going to lock every other shape except this one, and then I'm going to use a new tool, which is the eraser tool. And the eraser tool works kind of like the blob brush, except it gets rid of instead of adding to. Now the problem with the eraser is you can't set it to be smooth like you can for the blob brush or the pencil tool. So I kind of roughly erase it, and then I'm gonna go in with the pencil tool and clean it up. Make it smooth. So much to do. Start on the path and end on the path. I'm having some trouble with that. So maybe I'll just delete that anchor point. And then play with these handles. There we go. To smooth it out. Okay, now that's all well and good. It's looking great. The problem is this is a separate path than the black. So how can I merge them together? Let's unlock them all. And if I use the blob brush, I'll set it on black. and I have them all selected. Let me make the blob brush a little bit smaller here. Hmm. It's not merging them. Oh. I don't need the blob brush. So now that I have them all selected, I can go back to the Pathfinder and I can say merge, and it will merge them all together. And then I can use the blob brush for any overlapping anchors, like so. So now you can see it's all one clean, cut out black shape. Well, it's not black anymore, it's red. So let's change that. So if you merge, it will always take the color of what's on top. So let's change that to solid black. Whew. Okay, so that was a big step just to get that perfect circle. 
And unfortunately, while doing that, I lost sight of the one I cut out here and I merged that instead of subtracting it. So I'll show you again by redoing that step. So that's what's difficult about Illustrator is just keeping track of all the different paths and all the different effects you want to have. But I've got that perfect circle now cut out. And that was tough. So that's a victory. And it looks good. When you use the Pathfinder, you can end up with empty paths, you know, paths that don't have anything in them. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to turn this one off, and I'm just going to use the, the pencil tool to redraw this spiral that I want to cut out. So again, kind of professional use of Illustrator really requires understanding the Pathfinder tool. There we go. Beautiful, better than the first time. I can use the large selection tool, use my arrow keys and kind of move it around. And now I'm going to fill it with a color just so it's really easy to see. Then I'm going to unlock and select, holding down shift, the layer is behind, and now I'm going to use the Pathfinder, and I'm going to minus, whoops, <laughs> minus the one shape from the other shape. Let me get the exact shape. You can also move, oh, I think it's because I wasn't on the path. It's really, really picky. So now I've got those two paths selected, and now I can minus one from the other. All right, got it. Good, I'm gonna lock all that, and now move on to the bottom shape. So remember, thinking of it like cutouts is very helpful. And I'm going to swap it. So instead of it being solid black, like this, let's do a rough, rough drawing of it with my tablet, letting the smooth do a lot of my work for me. Make sure to close the path. And all of that was wasted because I just did it on a path that was locked or a layer that was locked. Yeah, illustrate. So this is why uh, graphic design, branding, it's a pretty safe job because it's a skill set people really need. They never realize how irksome it is to get this stuff right. And if they try it for themselves, then they're very happy to pay for it. <laughs> so it drew a shape. I want to fill that with black, but while I'm working on it, I might want to just reverse that so I see see my sketch underneath. That's not too bad, but I'm gonna gonna fix it here a little bit. So I'm gonna use a pencil tool. Go a little bit more slowly and more deliberately. Start on the path and end on the path. And it's these kind of sharp edges that can be difficult with the pencil tool when you have smooth on. It just depends on what your tolerance is in your personal design aesthetics. All 
how you want it to feel, how you want it to 